everyone. It's Amber from Amber Goodwin Art. Thanks for joining us today in our bi-weekly Coast to Coast collaboration. I have my kiddos with me. They are out of school because school doesn't start till August 12th. So uh, I am working from home and um, they are being awfully awesome and letting their mommy work. Well, Britta, I really loved your painting as well as Michelle. And Britta actually challenged us with using a transparent or a translucent base coat. I have never done this before, so I experimented and learned so much during this process. Let's go check out what I created. Right now. And y'all, for today's challenge, I decided to do a triptych on three level two eight by eight inch canvases. I just wanted to experiment, so I used the level twos. And I am going to do a spray paint background with Iron Lac acrylic spray paint. And my first color is Electro, which is a really pretty aqua blue color. And I decided to use um, this natural blush color, which is called Fraser Cream really beautiful really pretty and then i had this yellow laying around i couldn't find the color uh but it's like a really deep yellow and i thought these colors would work really well together and first i will spray my electro which is the aqua blue followed by the fraser cream and then i will go, go in and blend all of these colors together with my yellow. I decided to do a bloom on these canvases just to be very minimal. I didn't want any of the colors to take over, so I decided to keep uh, my pour that I will do on these very, very minimal. And I will continue to spray paint these uh, canvases I also went ahead and sprayed some gloss varnish on these because I feel like the spray paint tends to be a little chalky. Next, I will be back with the dried results of the canvases and show y'all the ingredients that I used uh, for my translucent base pouring medium and what actually worked for me while I was experimenting with this technique. Here are my dried spray painted canvases. They dried really well and I just want y'all to make sure if you are using spray paint, make sure to use the proper precautions, either wear a mask or a respirator and always be in a very well ventilated space. Next is my translucent base coat. I experimented a lot with this and just tried a lot of ingredients before I um, came up with a pouring medium for this technique that works for me. In my translucent base coat, I am using US Floetrol and I also mixed some Creative Inspirations Gloss Medium because it dries super clear. And I am also using Liquitex Iridescent Pouring Medium. I have seen Rinska use this before in her transparent base. And as I mentioned before, I'm doing a simple bloom, but I will only use one color, and that is Golden Interference Red. It is super transparent, so it will not take over my spray painted background. And for my cell activator, I am using TriArt Gold, which is a very beautiful gold. And next, I will show y'all my blooms. Now I am going to create my bloom. I am basically just using my translucent or transparent base as my pillow paint. It's the same concept. I'm just using an untinted base. I did try this with Valspar, but I did not like how it dried. It didn't really dry that clear to me for some reason. 
And I'm super inspired by Nikki D. Art and her minimal style, where she uses one to two colors and layers her cell activator under her colors and then blows them out. So that is the concept that I had in mind uh, while I created these. I also decided to use my palette knife and I utilized that by... Uh, swiping the excess cell activator that I had. I did not want to blow into it or blow with a straw. I wanted to spread it out so that I could get as much cells for my composition on this translucent base. I have really enjoyed working with palette knives lately and they really change the composition of your bloom or your swipes. So I highly recommend if you're not happy with your blowout of your bloom, definitely go back in with your palette knife and uh, you can really manipulate your composition. Sarah Taylor uses them a lot. Um, Nikki D uses them a lot as well. And they're just really fun to play around with. As I mentioned before, this is going to dry clear. So you really don't have to worry about covering your edges. I am a creature of habit, so I am covering the edges, but this dried completely clear. Next, I will show you guys a close-up of how this bloom turned out. And here it is. I absolutely love the lacing and the webbing effect that I got from this bloom and this pouring medium actually worked really well. I was surprised. Um, I, I wasn't e expecting it to work like this or the cells to hold their shape. Now I am doing my second canvas. I unfortunately didn't record my third one, but it's the same concept. Blow out my cell activator over my interference red and go back in with my palette knife swipe out the excess cell activator, and then um, stretch it out by spinning. You can absolutely tilt if you don't have a spinner, but I happen to love using my Jessica Winterstrom spinner. Now here is a close-up of the wet results of my triptych. Super happy with how these turned out. This one I had to redo and that's the one I didn't record, but um, it's fine. It, I mean, y'all see it, it's the same concept. And just check out the lacing. You can already see the interference red. It's just so cool and I just cannot wait to see how these dry. I will be back with the dried varnished results. Here is the dried result of my triptych. I apologize beforehand, it's a cloudy day here in Dallas. So I decided to come outside and uh, video these, but it's not doing this triptych any justice because it dried super amazing. I love how the golden interference really adds something to these pieces. It's not taking over my background. And I love the webbing and the lacing from the TriArt Gold Cell Activator. And it dried clear, so my experiment worked with the ingredients that I used. Let me know in the comments if I should frame these in a walnut frame or a white frame or a natural wood frame because I really do want to frame these. And guys, here's another look of these uh, on a wall. Again, I apologize for the lighting. And as always, guys, thanks for joining us for the Pouring Coast to Coast collaboration with Britt Clayton Design, Teneva Baker Modern Art, and Michelle Galley from Grateful Creations. Until next time, guys, we will see y'all in two weeks. Have a great weekend. Bye. Mm -hmm.